Hello, I'm Aaron Torgerson from VMware. In this video, we will take a look at the experience of a developer trying to deliver an application that will be running in a container on Kubernetes. In the end, the goal is for the experience to be seamless for the developer, regardless of how and where the application will run. Tanzu Application Platform is all about making that a reality. Let's take a look at the flow for a developer when they get a task to work on something. It's pretty simple, really. We need a starting point for our coding, a developer environment, otherwise known as an IDE, and a place to test and debug iteratively before checking in code. This is what we call the inner loop. You can think of it as everything a developer will do before merging their code. The outer loop is what happens after the check-in or merge. This video will focus on the inner loop. Every project and ticket has to have a starting point. If it is an existing project, it's pretty simple. Simply use the already created source code repository, clone it, and away you go. However, what if it's a new project? How do I get started in an approved way with the needed libraries? Tanzu Application Platform can bootstrap a new project using Application Accelerator for VMware Tanzu. We can download a template of source code repository to get started. For example, if we wanted to start a new Java web project, we could go into Accelerator and select a project that's already been set up for us, has all the libraries needed, and when you get when you open the screen, you'll see a bunch of options. In this case, there's only one that will help you customize the, the code before you download it. So here I'm just going to change my registry, and then let's explore the files to see what's actually in this Accelerator. So there's source code in here that will help us get started for the Java web app. And then also importantly is this workload file. And this is pretty much the only configuration file in this repository. And it will be used to work with Tanzu Application Platform to build and deploy your application. And you can also see my registry has been put here um, and it will be part of the download. So let's go ahead and download this project. Simply we'll create a, a zip file on my system and I'll be able to start coding. Once we have our starting point, we can begin working. Typically, an IDE is used and there are several out there to choose from. Using Tanzu Application Platform, we can stay in our IDE to code, build a container, deploy it to Kubernetes, and actually see our changes live before we check in or merge our code. We are showing VS Code IDE here, and we'll use the Tanzu plugins to enable live reload and debugging of our application. Here's our workload file with our changes that we made in the options screen in Application Accelerator. But more importantly, let's check out our code and get it running. But before we do, let's check out and see what's actually running in my namespace right now. Uh, check what's running out there, and it's just the application live view pod. So let's go ahead and use the plugin to start our workload. We just bring out the plugins and do Tanzu Live Update Start. As you can th see, things will actually start kicking off, and this is going to create a build pod, which will actually build our image, deploy it to a registry, and deploy it to Kubernetes, and then make it available um, for live updates. Now that is possible due to supply chains and all that um, added goodness of Tanzu Application Platform. So let's wait for that build to finish. We'll see it has completed and one of our pods is running. So let's go to the output, check it out. You can see it get completed. So if we go back to our terminal here, we should see our running application, our running pod. Um, and let's go ahead and hit the browser and see if we can get to the root path. Um, for our application. Uh, there it is. So we have our Spring Boot plus Tanzu. And let's just check the Tanzu path and see if it actually exists right now. And it doesn't. So let's add some code and see this live update update in action. So we'll just copy this, um, this uh, values here and add another one just so we have another path. Um, make it slash Tanzu like we tried before. It didn't work. Just change this, uh, the messaging here. To only show Tanzu and all I have to do is hit save in my IDE and we'll see some logging kickoff and we'll actually redeploy 
or actually not even redeploy, just update our running pod um, in my Kubernetes. So if we go back, hit refresh, we can see we now have our new path updated live and working in our Kubernetes cluster. Now that we've seen live updates, what about debugging? The Tanzu application platform integrations can help there too. Within your IDE, you can simply set breakpoints like you would code with any other application you are debugging. And then you can start the debug session. And once you do that, you can have a live debug session with your code running in Kubernetes. So we'll start the session. It will kick off. It will launch some new pods in the cluster. You can see the IP address and port is just on localhost. So we'll go check it out. When it's up and running, we'll go to the browser to see if it's up and running yet or hit refresh so we can actually start the debugger. And then we'll wait a few seconds for the debugger, the prompt in the debugger to get to our line of code. We can go back to the browser and see that it's actually not loaded yet. So it's still waiting. And then once we use our debugger like you normally would, it'll go through, through the code and this will make it easy for you to debug. Isn't developing applications using containers on Kubernetes supposed to be painful? Well, it doesn't have to be. So you might ask, what does it take to set up an environment to enable this developer experience? First, the Kubernetes clusters can run anywhere as long as they are enabled with Tanzu application platform. Second, Tanzu CLI and the IDE plugins are enabled to talk to your Kubernetes cluster. And third, we have a customizable supply chain to choreograph tasks to build and deliver any workload for the inner loop. The same supply chain can then be used for the outer loop and deploying to other desired environments. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to learn more about Tanzu application platform, please visit tanzu.vmware.com.